Yes. This right here was so egregious that I had to oh, stop what oh, I was yeah. doing in the middle of my day to send lines an audio note to tell him that we must discuss this white people business because I'm <laughs> outraged. I'm having this lady. I was so upset. I really, I really like this was some crazy shit to me. Like I really was a hurt for this woman. Like this man. And yeah, it's, 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 it's I'm just gonna say this. before we go into it, all jokes aside, we sh we shouldn't be surprised because this is literally guys like him, all of the Andrew Tates, everything that they espouse suggests that this is exactly how they would give it up, right? But for some reason, you see like people people pretend like these guys are in their homes as they present you the images of their family and blah, 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 blah. But this is exactly consistent. And you know that just based on the comments of people being like, um, people being like, oh, it's not abuse, it's low fans or whatever. This stuff, this woman is clearly like battered, literally emotionally battered. The way he's carrying on, I just... Yeah, so trigger warning, like, like, trigger warning, mm -hmm. everybody trigger she's, warning. She's eight months pregnant in this video. Keep that in mind. Eight yeah. months pregnant when you see what you're about to see and hear what you're about to hear. It's disturbing. Yeah, it really I drew is. a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary of abuse and control. You were not taking the car. Because if you refuse to do white food things, then I will go pick up the groceries. There are no groceries. I have to Stay. Wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yes, I do the man. The other man received love from that. No, no, I do the man. No, you're not taking the car. You're not taking the car. You are not. Then I will ask them to pick you up. Would you like me to ask? Hold that, right? Is that what you're Give it an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. You're feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Just think of how boxing you've made me. Press pause for a second. I mean, I mean, not to not to make a, a crack a joke, but I'm really not trying to here. But like, this woman's eight months pregnant, and this is the calmest I've ever seen an eight month pregnant woman deal with something like this. Like, I, you know, she has every right to absolutely fucking blow up on him, and she's being as because calm with him as possible because she's afraid. The entire time, she is palpably afraid in her every voice. You can literally yes, feel the woman talking. She is terrified. And like, especially he jumps up like that. He's, let me tell you something. I never wanted to hit a motherfucker with a Jeep so bad in my life. Continue, proceed. <laughs> he's also like blowing smoke no. in her face too. It's important to know yeah, he's smoking he's, like he's smoking right. a cigar. Shit. He's over Actually, there he feeling like shit. a big guy because he wants his too. pregnant woman. He wants his pregnant wife to serve him, to bow down to him, to follow his instruction. He all like, let me tell you something. I can't, I was so hurt for this lady because this is unfortunate mm -hmm. because I'm sure at the end of the day, you pick a man, you go to go marry him, have children with him, and have some life or whatever. And you could tell this woman is in a prison of his of his making. You know, the fact that he's she's literally scared she can't leave, she can't drive her own car. He's chasing after her. Oh my god, I hate this. Also, man. this yeah. guy, this this guy is a, a a multi millionaire. They don't have a. It sounds like they, I mean they could certainly afford another car. Does he not yeah, want I her to have? Too. He doesn't want her to. Yeah, yeah. Literally, it it's, it's, it's it's control. It's a totally control thing. 100%. He could order the groceries from the phone in his hand. And he wants her to have to do it for him. Like, be my servant. Do these things. Mm -hmm. Prove your loyalty. He says it later. He says, like, show your loyalty or whatever to her. Yeah, and according to his sister-in-law, Hillary's uh, sister, um, she basically was isolated from her family because of Stephen yep. Crowder. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. So this is very, very abusive. It's extremely disturbing and, and hard to watch, honestly. Be back when you're back. It doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between one life being set to the second and you're going Steven. back on back? The only way out of it is discipline and respect. If the only way out of it is we're at an impact. We are going to get past. Good. Because you can't have any discipline and respect. Yeah. There you go. You throw your hand, you give up so easily. I don't give up so easily. You, know, you give up so easily. I, I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said, then no, we're at an impact. Steven, no, we are at an impact. Okay. I love you, but Stephen, Stephen, you're sick. You're Watch it. He's sick. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and maybe for a little bit. Okay. I love you. 
I love you very much. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need an A, B, C, and D, you just need to spend that video. No. But I love you more than life. Hold on, hold on. I need you to do A, B, C, and D. You just need to be disciplined about it. Yep. He thinks this woman is his fucking servant son. Probably. It's really crazy. Oh my God. The way I he watched it. I didn't catch it. You know what makes me mad? Oh, yeah. I know good and well oh, yeah. he is not walking through his life moving like this with other men. So you take a woman and you put her in this little prison of your own in a family home and you lord yourself over her so you could feel like a big man, you bitch ass nigga. This shit is so crazy. How, like, bro, you, you're prick. Tough. <sighs> Yeah, and can I just point out here, when they say traditional values, Christian family, like this is what they mean. Like they literally want women yeah. to be in the homes, barefoot, doing everything for them. They want servants. Like this is traditional values in a nutshell yeah, here. They, okay. they, they talk about family values all the time and they don't fucking value their families. Mm -hmm. That's it. He, was abused. he literally yeah, wants that, his woman to serve thing. him. Yep. For him to look this pregnant woman, I I don't love you. That's the thing. You need to do this. Da, 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 da. You say you love me. You don't do it. I, like, and the, it's just the way he's even like everything about his posture. Like, look how his legs are. Look how he's sitting. Look at his body language and how he is and how he's talking to her. Oh, my God. And she's being so measured and like trying to like not like basically push his buttons. But because she's because, because he's threatening her. That's the thing. When yeah. every time he's like, when he's like, watch it. Watch it. You, yeah. you only can say that if there's something, there's a line you cross where there's a consequence. Mm -hmm. There is a there is the response he's at. Jin Hao, the man is. Yeah, she has she has to word everything so carefully because she's desperately trying to de-escalate because she knows that if she says the wrong thing, it can send him over the edge. Yeah. No, but I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No, but I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Oh, pause it real quick. Oh, yeah, so we should note content. on, yeah, we should note on, on, on the the gloves thing. So yeah, he wanted her to, I believe, what was it, feed feed the dogs medicine that she yeah. was worried may be toxic. Yeah, uh, why? I don't know. Oh, I'm not yeah. sure why he couldn't just do it. Um, yeah, she didn't so want to handle the medication her. as a pregnant person just because she didn't know if that would affect her in any negative way. So that's why she was reluctant to do what he wanted her to do. Like, I'm not sure why he can't feed the medicine. This is ridiculous. Yeah. You're right, right in that. Become someone that's you it. Day in and day out, worthy of a wife. Worthy? No, not as a mm. wife. I didn't say as a wife. As a wife. Hillary, Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get texting what you need. I'll get you to me. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not committed to Are you committed enough to do those things? That. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you and committed to it. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the dogs? Don't you take, take that in. You don't love me if you won't do these chores. Oh it's my so God. despicable. You've got to read the comment from the family also below because they reveal more information. Like this whole situation is really just sad. I'm just glad she's free of this man at least now. Like yeah. I'm glad mm -hmm. she got it. Like she's already divorced from him. I hate to share children for him because under reality is like as much as we don't like to talk about it, but children are quite literally made in the image of the people whose DNA they you know, and the man is there. So that's an unfortunate situation. But at least she don't have to be with this man no more. She's free of him. Yeah. So they write here, the truth is that Hillary spent years hiding Stevens' mentally and emotionally abusive behavior from her friends and family while she attempted to save their marriage. She was the one who was asking to work on the relationship to keep the marriage intact for their unborn children. And then, oh yeah, so he, was it, he left to pursue elective surgery. Is this around when she gave birth? Um, I'm uh, not yeah, sure. So 
so the the story goes that he uh, got an elective surgery. You do you remember that cycle? He really sold it as it being like a heart condition. He was like, oh, you made a tweet about it. Like the the doctor says my heart ain't so good or something. And then he made a lot of tweets about how the Canadian healthcare system had failed him, and that um, it's oh so thankful God. that he was at it. You remember that cycle? That was him yeah, getting an, elect, so an elective surgery. Yeah, to to have uh, he had a collapsed chest, and so they put some bars in, and it was uh, it's apparently excruciatingly painful because your lungs fill with water or whatever. But everyone thought he was dying with all the pictures. Every Everybody thought that Sam Cedar had nearly killed him. Yeah, it was right <laughs> after that. It really was. <laughs> right. okay, I'm not what sure what else is here. Yeah, basically in that same uh, statement from the family, they say that, you know, they don't want him to talk about this, but he is talking about this. By the way, Natalie Corzin on Twitter is his sister-in-law and she's spilling the tea she confirms that it was an elective procedure and that when she was paralyzed in the hospital for like two weeks he went for like one to two hours to see her wasn't by her side just overall a really shitty person isolated her from the family um it's just, I, I mean this is this is absolutely abuse yep yep all right yeah isolate the victim make sure they detach from friends and family uh maintain control control their transportation mm -hmm. like he could have gotten an uber let's be real this is such a ridiculous made-up problem it's like well why don't you take it well why don't you take it you have the phone you can do that right yeah. but like 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 y'all were saying it's about control i, I also this guy yeah. is loaded he's the biggest political youtuber on the planet this guy's making tens of millions of dollars a year even if he didn't want to do anything why didn't he hire someone to help his wife at least because while she was pregnant? This is literally the textbook cycles of abuse, so like to right. isolate. So I had an abusive boyfriend in college. If this is no, no one, no, no one needs to wound on. No sensitivity needed. I we discussed it before, but. One of the first things he did was move me off campus. Like I was RA, made me quit, move me far off campus to an apartment with him where I could not get to and from or anywhere without him. And he had a car and he had his car and I had to depend on him for transportation. And that was how he was. So he could control my every move. It was, mm -hmm. he was, I'm like, I, I have a, I have a best friend, David. And I remember one time we always talk about this because at the time David didn't realize he was abusive. So he would like not understand how serious it is or whatever. So he'd like, David would be coming up the street to talk to me. And I'd literally be like, please, he'd be like, Hey, I'm, I'm like, like, cross the street, cross the street, cross the street, cross the street. He, if this guy, if he comes around the the, the and he sees, he, it's gonna be a problem. Like on God, so that is quite literally the textbook of it. Isolate you, control you, so that you don't have access to other people. That's why there's no other car. That's why he doesn't want to take the Uber. That's why he wants to do it. All of it is about control. It is he's a he is an abusive partner. Just unmitig nothing else to it. He's a this is just he's an abusive partner. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you can. I mean, I wouldn't somebody... be surprised if all of these like right wing people are just a bunch of fucked up freaks. Like they're all they oh, yeah. say that they're fucked up freaks in public every day of their life. So, I mean, is I you know, it's just I default yeah. assume this. So, I yeah, yeah, th th this is the kind of relationship that that they preach, right? So th that's why I'm not I'm not surprised by any like this is not surprising. Mm -hmm. I, that he acts this way, that he treats his his, his ex-wife this way, like it's all just disgusting. <laughs>